blast was heard in Beirut just a few minutes ago, and a security source has said the strike was targeting a senior Hezbollah commander. Uh, was this an Israeli strike, as far as you're aware? No, so I don't have any uh, updates on um, any specific uh, activity that we're seeing. Um, so on this, this specific incident, I would have to refer you to uh, partners in the region to speak to. Has Israel been in touch with you prior to this about any potential upcoming strike? So we have been in continuous discussions with Israeli and Lebanese counterparts since the incident um, over the weekend, and the United States is going to continue to support efforts to reach a diplomatic solution along the blue line that uh, our hope is will end these terrible attacks and, again, allow Israeli and Lebanese citizens on both sides of the border to safely return home. That's going to continue to remain our focus and goal. And have they given you any warning that they would strike Beirut? If this isn't uh, I'm strike. just not going to get into specific diplomatic discussions, and I'll leave it to Israelis to speak to uh, any planning or response um, that they may have in the works. And we had reported that the U.S. was urging Israel not to strike Beirut. Do you feel that um, this could escalate tensions if this is an Israeli strike, and are you concerned about the repercussions? So I'm going to echo a little bit what I said yesterday, which is that our support for Israel's security is ironclad, and it's unwavering, uh, especially as it defends itself against uh, Iran-backed threats, including threats from Hezbollah. No nation could uh, be expected to tolerate the kinds of threats that Israel uh, is facing and, and continues to face. But at the same time, and you heard um, Admiral Kirby say this yesterday, as well as myself, that we do not believe that uh, all-out war is inevitable, and we still believe that it can be avoided. And we're continuing to work towards uh, a diplomatic resolution uh, that would allow Israeli and Lebanese civilians to return to their homes and live in peace and security. We certainly want to avoid um, any kind of escalation, and that is exactly why we continue to remain so deeply focused on diplomacy. Uh, Jenny, go ahead. Is the U.S. prepared to back Israel if this does devolve into a full-fledged war? Uh, I'm just not going to get into Northern hypotheticals West? beyond saying that our commitment to Israel's security is ironclad and unwavering, and the threat that Israel faces uh, from Hezbollah is very real, as real as uh, the events that we saw unfold uh, this weekend. But uh, our focus continues to be on diplomacy. We continue to believe that diplomacy is the uh, best path forward. We think that is uh, the best way right now to uh, calm tensions along the blue line and to create conditions that will allow civilians to return home. That's our focus. Is it still your assessment that both sides do not want to see this devolve into a full-fledged conflict? Uh, I'm not going to speak for. Uh, I'm not going to speak for the other entities. It's certainly the United States is a uh, perspective and point of view. Uh, like I said, uh, and you saw the. Secretary of Defense and the Secretary of State speak to this a little bit on their travels. Um, we do not uh, believe that an all-out war is inevitable, and we believe that it can be avoided, and that's exactly why we're remaining focused on, uh, on diplomacy.